Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us. We have a very busy forecast this week, not only just in the days ahead, which are very autumn-like, uh, ups and downs with temperatures and even some rain in our drought zones, but next week the tropics really wake up and there may well be a severe tropical cyclone just off to our northwest in the Coral Sea. And on top of that, a major change, lots of low pressure moving into the New Zealand area. There's also a high that could sort of be a spanner in the works. So let's try and break it all down, make sense of it. We kick off with the Monday uh, wind animation and the warm subtropical weather to the north is finally being pushed away by a cold front into this afternoon and evening. There will be some rain relief for the drought zones of the upper North Island. It is patchy, the front already you can see on the radar is broken into pieces. So some of you will get just a few millimeters, that's not very helpful. Others could get over 15 to 20 and that is helpful. So this is a positive change coming through for most of you. Now further down the country, in comes the southerly change. A little bit windy through Cook Strait on Monday, but as we head in towards Tuesday, the winds will be changing direction and coming in as a southerly, and this is Tuesday. There is that southerly change going up and towards the uh, South Island later on in the day. Basically, southerly quarter winds are around on Tuesday in most regions. Rain around Canterbury will be welcome, especially in the dry parts further north uh, who have missed out on a fair bit. It doesn't look to me like the rainfall totals will be that great. The colouring there means uh, patchy Sort of stuff but hey if you can sort of get more of that each week it all does start to accumulate in the north island today's front is out at sea and then there's a secondary burst of showers they are not much but there will be a few more showers coming in on tuesday around the north island now wednesday is probably peak cool of the week it'll be one of the coolest days we have because the high is parked out over here on wednesday and the southerly flow moving up now West Coast is probably going to be the best place to be, sunniest and with a breeze coming off the mountains. It'll be more like a reverse nor'wester like Canterbury gets. And in the north, you get another burst of showers. That is your third day in a row with showers. Now they are very hit and miss, but for those who are lucky enough to get a few in a row, it will make a significant difference. You'll be mowing your lawns every week again. Um, the grass will be turning green. There will be weeds growing in the garden, things like that. So it is definitely going to be a change after what has been a very dry, dusty couple of months. This will add more moisture to some places, but not everyone will get showers. So we'll have to wait till Thursday to kind of reset and work out just how, uh, how much rain fell and who missed out on it. So by Thursday, there is a change. In comes the high. There's a southeasterly flow around northern New Zealand, and you'll find showers um, moving up. So you might get a fourth day of showers, if you're lucky, coming through on Thursday as it moves up that northern coastline. And then we get to Friday, and most of New Zealand is dry under this big area of high pressure. But now we start to move towards the tropics because there is a lot of life up there and it's been a quiet couple of weeks. So it's well overdue for something to start to form. So as we head in towards the weekend, there are these showers at the very north of the country. That's some good news for the far north. And then we go into Saturday, please, we hope that this forms because we do need this rain. Now this is not locked in yet uh, because of the high that is still just stuck around this area. So we will need another day or two to really lock this in. You can already see your local rainfall totals by looking at Weather Watch. Um, our new forecast for your local location have hourly and daily rainfall totals as well as the percentage of rain. Very helpful when it's a bit borderline like this and you're trying to work it out. That um, IBM computer does all the work that um, I struggle to sometimes do with so many moving parts. So you'll notice on uh, Saturday we've got this change. And probably most of you are looking up at this one. Now that is the likely cyclone. So Cairns, Townsville, um, really in the firing line, potentially. This is not locked in about the exact direction it's going to go. You can see another area of low pressure next to it that is well worth keeping an eye on. And by Sunday, you can see it sort of rolling down the coastline. So this is where it gets a little more interesting because if it is coming towards the Tasman Sea and not making landfall into Australia. That is what we're still trying to work out. But this secondary area of low pressure next to it might help pull it away from Aussie. And then that leaves this other area of low pressure to our north, which 
If it does set up like that, most of the rain's falling down around Gisborne and Hawke's Bay and not so much in Northland, but you would get another burst of showers in Northland and Auckland and Waikato. And I told you there could be a high that is the decision maker. Well, this is it down here. So we'll be watching that closely because if it comes in quickly, it stops these lows from coming down. If it stays there, they've got a direct path to us. Now, before I go, we do get um, mocked is not the right word, but we get um, criticized by net service sometimes because we use these maps. These maps are from America. So let's throw in there the European ones um, to, for argument's sake. And you can see they are also picking a tropical cyclone and a second area of low pressure around the New Caledonia area that could pull it that way. And just like GFS from America, the European models are also showing, in fact, an even greater chance of low pressure. It's worth noting the American models have been more accurate this year about cyclones in New Zealand. So that's why we trust them. Uh, we've been trusting them for 15 years on top of all the other models that we use. But we have to put one model up on the screens that you see here. Today we've put two. And as you can see, the Europeans aren't expecting that high to be rushing through. So this is very interesting as we head in towards Sunday, Monday, Tuesday next week. Will we get rain? Will it miss us? We can't lock it in, but it's an interesting story because this is the first time in a while that we've seen so much low pressure being forecast in this part of the world. That is all from me. We will give you another decent update tomorrow on Tuesday. We'll see you then.